Hello, good evening, and welcome to the stream. How the devil are you all? Yes, indeed. Ooh. Giveaway reset, and... Uh, Close. There we go. Because there is uh, not a giveaway this evening. I think I've run out of all the giveaway bags at this point. Yes, I think I have. Um, I was just doing a bit of tidying with this character. Yes, I was. Trying to remember all the things I may or may not have done. And if you're watching the video on YouTube, uh, hi all and welcome to the video. Yes, we're doing things. Shouldn't be too much longer. Just the social mediaing. Mathematica, welcome to the stream. Singapa, what up? <laughs> welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Yeah, we're just. We're doing the do. Yeah, Grace giveaway tomorrow, but I think I have uh, literally come to the end of the bags of win. I think. I've, I had a quick look and uh, I can't see any more. So I think we've actually done all of them, maybe. Uh, unless I've got some others on other characters. So apart from that, um, I think that's it on the bags of win. We, we were giving them away a couple of times a week, so there's been a few. So no giveaway this evening. Um, where are we? Oh, yes, let's go to the live screen. There we go. So I'm having a, a little beer this evening. Because uh, why not? I've got that bag, but I'm not sure who gave it me or whatever, so I don't know. It's quite a bit of stuff in there, although I think that was from... I want to say from Space Quest for one of the Find a Friend things, but I'm, I was sure we'd given those all away from the end of that. So, yeah, I'm not sure. Mm. Soul Giver, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. So, yeah, it's a Friday. Welcome to the weekend for those that don't have to work at the weekend. And for everyone else, happy Friday. Uh, where are we? There's one there. What's that? I think, yeah, no, that's got stuff in. I think this was personal stuff. I think. Yeah. You already have this item Masterpiece Ancient Bracer. I I already have it. Why am I not wearing it then? That's puzzling. Why would I make it and not wear it? It's a no drop, isn't it? Not in there. I already ha okay, that's interesting. Um <clears throat> I don't remember making it, but then again, I've made an awful lot of tunes and I don't really keep up on what I've done on all of them all the, all the time. Eh? I sometimes forget, I'll be honest. Let's have a look then. Masterpiece Ancient Bracer. 
it says I have one on this character. Ogneus, Llewellyn, Calbrock, Calcrit, Fumbelina. It's not saying I've got it on this character. Where is it? What's a good fruit class? Any, really. Um, There's no bad fruit class, except maybe NT, I think, is a bit weak because of how much better, you know, the difference between... Um, Paid and unpaid is pretty massive with NT. Yeah, this is weird. So it says I've got it, but it's not. Yeah, it's not in there. Okay. Which means it's got to be in a bag or something somewhere. Or is it just in here? I'll just put that one. Okay. We're doing it all right bag number four it says i've already got one so i can't make one but i'm thinking i ain't got one so i should be able to make one We're going through all the bags, bag Oh. I already had one. Okay. Did I make it and I just couldn't put it on? There we go. Okay. So with that done... Uh, need to find a bag to put these away in. Uh... What's that? A Type 5 pistol. Yeah, they're not that desirable. Jimmy Wah redeemed one hydrate for 100. Thank you very much. MA is easy on credits. Yeah, you don't actually need weapons on MA. I'll add these two to there. <clears throat> Can anyone remember if we did the Sheol quests on this character? Because I can't remember if we did or not. I got a feeling we did. But also not 100% sure we did. No new buff bot. <laughs> Looks like one. Anyway, quick way to find out, isn't it? Go and talk to the NPCs. I was thinking, did I do the Sheol quests at the appropriate level to level up, or did did I save it for later? Can anyone remember, you know, the, all the dozens of characters we've built and done everything with? I can't remember if I've actually done the Sheol quests on this character. I quite often start doing them so I can um, get to Adonis as quickly as possible and get the Adono brain as quickly as possible, but I just can't remember.
So long as left a heckler here. Well, I'm going to have to do my civic duty. And get rid of the heckler. Can't have poor lobies trying to run through here and then discovering <laughs> it's a bloody heckler on the path. Dirk uh, Lucifer, I missed the game. Well, I would if I didn't play it, but, you know, you can play it, so you play it for free. Deceptees, welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. I couldn't remember I'd made that bracer, so God knows. Uh, let's let's have a look. Have you got nothing to say to me? I have the pattern essence. Do I? Uh, not sure about that. Hang on, let's pull up the quest. Because I think that would be interesting to do it at this level, wouldn't it? I've got the feeling I've maybe done them now. Uh, let's see. Job signs his knowledge of the Yottos. Pattern essence, pattern essence. What the hell is that for? See, I've done this quest so many times on so many characters. I can't remember which ones I, I have and haven't done it on. Why would I be talking to the Yoto about a pattern essence? I don't remember that stage. Yeah, remember this. Go and kill a couple of those. Developing words, moss grinders, scouting panorama, altitude plates. Yeah. And it's like the other catacombs. Okay. Halcyon Creed. Interlude, pattern essence. If you bring this item with three different things, ones whose words... Ah, right, okay. To the one... To clear thought three. Ah, okay. So I might have only gotten up... Oh, don't. I might only have gotten as far as one whose words are jumbled. That could be big lumps of XP, couldn't it? Okay, one whose words were jumbled. Let's go find him. Because this would be a lot of XP very quickly at this level for completing. Londis, ahoy, sir. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Had I only gotten that far in the quest or not? I is not sure.
because we could finish off that bit of the quest, couldn't we? That would be a fair bit of XP, I think. I haven't started the Inferno quests on this guy. I know that. That much I'm sure of. Ah. Did I do them? Did I do them? Hang on. What item would I have gotten from completing it? That's going to be... That's the way to figure it out. Metang's improved glacial lance. Have I got that? Oh, still got my mule logged in. Okay. So it'll be a combat nano. Metang's improved mind quake. Improved glacial lance. Ah, so I have done these quests. I should have mine quake. Not one. And Lance. In that one. There we go. Yeah, so I had I had done them. And what was the quest reward for the scientist? mesmerizing staff of francis oh i may or may not have done that i don't know sing up about to start the adono quest on my dock want that brain let me know if you get stuck anywhere we'll come and help so yes it's a beer this evening but it, it won't be a long stream simply because i'm up early tomorrow so we can't be on late. Oh, that's a point. Have we got? Yeah, we got transcoding. Fantastic. That's what we like. Right. So I've done these. Right. Okay. Uh, so yeah, dailies then, I guess. Only salsa. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Right. Okay. Okay. I've got a kind of feeling I had bags of win on my keeper, but uh, I'm going to check that in a moment. What do we got there? Oh, rats. Okay. And senior agency, elite daily prisoner. Goodbye. Alien daily, aliens alone, and we get salvage. Okay. Odin's other eye. One of those. Cast the pet. Poison. Deceptees. No giveaway this evening. If there is, it's always in the title. Yeah, I think I've done every bag of win now, so I've got none of them. It will be a grace giveaway tomorrow, though. Now, there was a message about... Uh, the buff bot. It's moved. But I can't remember where to. Hang on, it was on the Discord.
Buffer spot has been moved to a new spot. If you still want to enjoy the buffs, they are close to the Old Athen shops southwest of Old Athen Grid. Okay. Yeah, they're over here. Fantastic. So they haven't gone, they just relocated. Galdor Torbens, welcome. To the stream good to see you right okay so we got the we got the usual buffs ah the arbiter is up let's go to icc then Oh yeah, maybe should cast one of those as well. Pick the pet. Freelancers Inc. There we go. Excuse me. <laughs> right, uh, first mission. Well, as we're here, uh, let's go do rats. Fairly painless, I would say. Uh, finally enter. There we are. Start rounding a few up. So this gives more health, base abilities, add all off, max nano, so kind of a good all round item, that helps with all the other bits. Okay, NPC taking far too long to speak with us, but never mind. You've only got 15 minutes. Oh no, panic. Yeah, we'll get the dailies done and then I'm thinking a quick check with um, whether or not I've got other bags on other characters. Healerson, how am I doing today? I'm doing pretty well, thank you. How are you doing? Are you all right? I'm doing pretty well, being honest. I has been watching um, Three Body Problem. It's really good. I did not expect it to be as good as it is. Here we go again. Yeah. <laughs> Never, well, I, I just let the accounts roll on because, you know, I, I still enjoyed the game, so why not, you know, just makes sense. There's always, the you know, the commit time commitment and everything else, but I think because I combine it with uh, streaming, it, it sort of works out in that 
it, it feeds two hobbies you know one being the game and the other being streaming so yeah it's pretty cool be the Pied Piper of Doom. Oh, you feel the core of your being shift as the source makes room for a divine presence. What? Mox Fox has reached enlightenment. Congratulations. Right, see how we're doing. How many did we kill so far? 79? Is that all? Must have left a few behind then. Not to worry. not picking any up here am i <laughs> come on guys follow me I killed 100 roller rats. Yeah, three body problem. Really good science fiction. Apparently it based on um, an old Chinese science fiction novel. A really good one, then. Plot, the plot is very interesting. wasn't what I was expecting it to be based on the trailers, but it's much better than the trailers. I don't know if that makes any sense. I don't know if the novel was called the same, but... I'd like to read it. It was translated from Chinese, I believe. I think originally it was in Chinese, I don't know. Quick look. Three body problem book. Published in 2008. There you go. By Liu. Uh, I don't know if I'm saying this right. Liu Sinex. Cyanix? Oh, God. That's the author, anyway. Yeah, brilliant story, sir. Um, what else did he write? Dark Forest, Death Ends, The Wandering Earth. I've seen a kind of movie of that. Yeah, a really good writer. Really fantastic imagination. I don't know if that's how you pronounce his name or not. Can we get a pronunciation? How to pronounce Lun Jun Chinese, yeah. I, I I don't think I need a 30 minute video explaining how to say someone's name. Do we have a, a short oh god. There's him being interviewed. Oh god, go on then. How do we it's probably wrong, but we are looking at how to pronounce this name, the name of this Chinese writer. Oh, that's a different name. And the guy that does the ridiculous voice. Yeah, I've come across that channel before. FX's Shogun is now streaming. That's good as well. 
I didn't think, you know, they could outdo the original. You they are did. looking at Julian's pronunciation guide where we look at how to pronounce yeah, better you, some of I the most mispronounced voice. words. It's so put on and annoying. Liu <sighs> Zushin. Call center pronunciation. We got anything else? Liu Zushin. That sounds like. Yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> Hello, I'm going, I'm going to be this close to the microphone for every video and pretend they've got a really deep voice. That's what he's doing, and that's annoying. <laughs> I'm not joking. It's called the proximity effect. The closer you get to a microphone, uh, the easier the microphone can pick up the deeper resonances in your voice. So if you're on top of the microphone speaking very quietly, you're kidding yourself that you sound like this in real life, because in real life you're over here whispering. That's exactly what they're doing, okay? Uh, don't pee on my shoes and tell me it's raining. <laughs> Am I right or am I right, guys? I, I do have a fairly deep voice. But that's what that guy's doing. Yeah. Vulpu, I want to put Carl on helium now. I sound like regular people with helium. Um, Kind of embarrassing, but there we are. Why have I... No, I, I didn't want that buff. Uh, want that buff. Okay. Welcome to the stream, Vulpu. I think I've given away all the bags of win, I think. There's none left on this character, but can you remember, did you give me some bags of win on a different character once and I've forgotten? Because I'm sure I had more than I've given away, but I could be wrong. I think I had about ten, and I've, I have now given them all away. Grace is no, because we're only doing one a week, but. Yeah, I've heard myself on helium, and it, it's not as different as you might think. I'm trying, uh, wasn't me, I think. Oh, possibly not. I'm thinking about a Froob-friendly bag, but it's hard to decide. Yeah, because a lot of the things for Froob are quite class-specific, aren't they? Well, you could go, oh, well, no armor, yeah, but... Yeah, no armor, some of the parts are no drop and yada yada, so. They can't go in a bag and some of the parts are unique, so they can't be traded in a bag and yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. How much complete have I got now? Over 18, yeah, I thought so. So anyway, yeah, three uh, uh, three body problem. Really good science fiction. Some very good casting. Um, you know, like they put the right people in the right roles, etc. Uh, and it works. It works well. I'm up to episode five, I think. Started watch watching last night. DB chest, D gloves, eggs, Dockaholic rings, spirit infused Yettos, 160s. Yeah, something like that. Froob giveaway. Could be good, yeah. Oh, it has corpses, but no prisoner. What's the timer on you? You're nine minutes and you are 25. Oh well. Uh, 
Uh, nothing on him. Someone's farming bits, I think. No problem. Right, while we're waiting on the spawn. Yeah, chat, if you've got any ideas for a through bag of wind giveaway, um, let us know. I'm going to go and get another beer. Better nano program running. <laughs> yeah, chat, have you got any ideas for bag of wind for Froob? That could be cool, couldn't it? <sighs> Crypt of home weapons, yes. A lot of them aren't, aren't a few with them no drop though. Yeah, leg like, like chopper gloves are always a good bet, for, you know, for enforcer and that. Although they're Atrox only, aren't they, leg like choppers? Am I remembering correctly? Yeah, I thought so, yeah. I remember I, I got some for... I was going to twink into... I better two-hand edge on my keeper and then realise... Uh -uh. <laughs> oh, yeah. The yes job quality, 100 is the best value. Yeah, isn't it? Um, like the panther the, and the pained panther. It's e yeah, the, yeah, I know what you mean. Like the quality 100 is better. As in, you can get it on a lot earlier than the 105 variant. Even if the 105 is, you know, a higher quality weapon, the amount of skill required to get it on versus a 100 is, is quite a big lump at a level where it's relative. You know, it's relatively really big damage. Excuse me. Yeah, leg choppers could be a good shout. Things like six slot are less so now with the ICC shops because it's so much easier to just get. The one sixty spawn pretty easily in that, you know. So yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Panther, Chipperata, yeah, Blackbirds, yeah, Howlet, yeah, they're all good weapons from there. 
Definitely good weapons. How long have we got? Let's have a look. Yeah, it's about four minutes ish. And then we're good to go. What's the budget per item? Well, I don't know. Talking about a bag of win uh, for Froom. But the difference between one of the one of the un, um, not often mentioned um, big differences between paid and Froom is uh, armor. A set of you know com a combined commando armor is good for nearly all classes, but the better armors for Froob are things like dragon armor and and or <coughs> <coughs> excuse me um merc armor you know the the azure armor but the problem with the giveaway of azure armor is some of it is no drop The only question is if I have it or not. Ah. I think the only character I ever had a complete set of Azure armor on was Kalos 2 back in the day. Do not own robust backpack because I consider them way over evaluated. I kind of do as well. People go absolutely, it's the best back item. I'm like, I'm not sure it is though. It's an item with the most add damage for the slot for back, but that doesn't make necessarily mean it, it is the best. I think only one item from Azure. Yeah, the tank armors and the boots, maybe. I can't remember. It's been so long since I was kind of using that armor. <laughs> Excuse me. And a lot of the tastier um, the, uh, items for Froob in terms of armour and equipment are uh, no drop. So... Yeah, the DB back item with the plus two crit. It depends what you're building, and you don't want crit and add damage on an NT. You want percent nano damage on an NT. So a robust pack pack is not the best item for an NT. PvP or no, you know. Everyone likes a heavy notum tank. It's just cool. It it still looks really cool, you know. Can I get the 264 on yet? Yeah, I can. I should be wearing it, really, but, yeah. What am I wearing? 225. I could put that on. Living, living dragon flesh. Oh, no, not that. Uh, the other one. The 216 one. I uh, can't remember what it is. I'm not sure who gave me this bag quite a mixed bag i think possibly space quest maybe gave me that bag i'm not sure but normally the bags that space quest gives me are ones i sort of divvy out between people from doing find a friend or whatever So I'm not entirely some of them I'm not not completely sure about. <laughs> I want to use them for social. Yeah, for, for a lot of things, yeah. <laughs> oh, 
<sighs> I think I'm getting a cold, guys. Not good. Special edition, uh, not special edition, uh, operative overb. <coughs> uh, chess piece is a nice piece. Oh yeah, we've got the um, the Lobie who's still in the subway dungeon. We want to we want to level him till he gets kicked out. <laughs> I don't know why. team already. No. <laughs> <sighs> oh, well. Right, okay. Um well I quite like the shields you see, so the one hand blunt is kinda cool. For you know a lot of things. Quite like hiding behind the um, at all death on the shield is is pretty nice. Uh, I want the I want the warden, don't I? I'll take the green. Goodbye. And those two in, I think. We've got find ammunition to do as well, haven't we? Okay, let's do find ammunition. Not ammunition. Uh, salvage. Let's go do the salvage and then we'll hand those in and then do the dojo. That should clear the freelancers. And then we hand that in. Can I do any more? Can't do any more apotheosis until. Excuse me, AI 25. We are AI 24 still, so not yet. <clears throat> Airy Tech! How you call? How you all? <laughs> hey! Welcome on in, good to see you. Go for the sign. Damn. Thought I got it. Alright, have a look. Bernie, 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 Bernie. Right, okay.
Ah, uh, found you. Why can't I pick it up? There you go. Oh no, I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. Got it. Yeah, I should be good either way. Right, to the mission agency we go. And for any of you on the stream that are wondering where did the buff bots go, they've moved. They haven't gone, they've moved. You just run across from here to the tree. And... There they all are. Cool, huh? Same buff bots, same commands, same macros. They're just over there. Mission complete. Goodbye. Reward now. Goodbye. Mission complete again. Right, and we got a couple of minutes, and we can go straight to Shadowlands for a doja hunt. Hopefully not too long of a hunt. <laughs> Vision of the heretic. To chaos, good pistol, especially for crap. Really good for crap. Obsidian desecrator, best two hand edge weapon. Ceremonial blade, very good, but I don't know if it's the best. So, there you go. Freebies if you check out Darknet. How much of grace is this week? Have a look. <coughs> Excuse me. Hundred and thirty seven billion. Let's see how much they are tomorrow night when we're giving one away again. I don't know if this is a buff bot as well. It kinda looks like one. But it might not be. Let's try. It is an other buff bot. Our hunters, there you go. Right, there's an extra, another one right by the Wumper. There you go. Looks pretty much the same. So, same interface and everything. She's pretty nice. I'm impressed. I thought they looked like a buff bot. So there you go. There's that one and one by the tree. 
in the stripy pajamas, no less. I thought the 40 bill I was getting for Grace last time I played was crazy. Yeah, it's even even more crazy now due to it's bonkers, mate. But yeah, there you go. Right, okay. So Beacon has timed. Everyone's making buff bots. They're so convenient though. The occasional time people still use a forum, uh, they post on the forums going, yeah, but you can never get buffed. You spend, like, you've got three hours to play and you spend two of them just trying to get buffed. And it's like, no, you don't. Let's go to a buff bot, done. It wrangles and everything. Warp bots as well. Yeah, apparently. I've not used those yet. Is it me, or is it a tad dark in Inferno? It looks a tad bit dark in Inferno to me. Scotty boy for the lazy player. Well, yeah, you can imagine. And it's all automated, which is really, really cool. And if you want a leveling bot, semi-automated, but not actually completely automated, uh, the um, the Ark community have got one, which we demoed, kind of beta tested, I suppose, uh, a couple of streams back. It was pretty awesome. Created a new character, went from like level one to what, uh, level 60? In a short evening. I've been a buff bot since 2001. Moot, please. Yeah. <sighs> Nothing on that one. Okay. Yeah, I felt like that on my first fixer. Hack and quack. Grid space. Fix grid, please. Pretty much like 24-7 to the to the point where you go, oh, I'm going and on. <laughs> nope, nothing doing on that one. Perked, yeah. <sighs> yeah, so if you're looking for some free science fiction, three body problem on Netflix. Really good show. Go and check it out. You'll see some uh, familiar actors in it, that's for sure. Just remember when I say, oh my god, I can't believe they did that, when you get to the scene with the boat. And don't ask me what happens. I'll, I'll leave it as a surprise for you, but... You watch the scene with the boat and go, Oh my God, I can't believe they put that in it. But yeah, it's horrific. It's like, Oh my God. It's also sort of cool in a very... Yeah. Macabre way, but yeah. We 
any more up here? No silly coal lizard. No more Somphos. A lot of people telling me to try Hell Divers too, and I'm like, mm, I don't know. If we had a group of people to go and play it with, yeah, maybe. It sounds like it's a lot more fun with more people than trying to do it solo, from what I've seen, anyway. And you know me, I don't jump on bandwagons. I'm kind of like the anti-bandwagon guy. If there's a popular trend, I'm a million miles from it. And the big streamers or whatever, you know, they, they just hop on whichever the late, you know, they just hop on every new trend. Because that's their business model. Um, being like current and whatnot. Whereas I just like the things I like and that's it. Nothing wrong with what they do. But it's just not me. It's sort of like, I feel bad for some of the games or whatever that they jump on because they, they're they super popular for like two weeks and then just forgotten. Like, like they never happened, you know? I know I've got friends like that. They're like, they meet someone and they're madly in love with that person for like two weeks. And then you see them a month later, hey, still seeing so-and-so and like, Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm this thing now, I'm seeing this person now, and you oh, okay. <laughs> oh, well, that's a shame, you, you seemed really happy. Oh, yeah, no, it was, but, you know, yeah, something. Um, yeah, there's not a lot of um, consistency and commitment there. <laughs> Not saying they're wrong, I mean, that's the way they live, but, you know. I've been with the same lady for 25 years, you know, I'm okay. I enjoy that things evolve and change. Uh, you know. works for me maybe it doesn't work for everyone else you know i'm not going to superimpose what works for me on someone else but uh, sometimes i do mention that when they say oh but i'm lonely um you know they're not in an infatuation of the month that month well if you stay with someone for a couple of years maybe you know who knows? And then again, some people are quite changeable in of themselves. So, you know, they're not the same person year to year in certain ways. Sabic, heal me.
just looked at your stream and thought, shit, I've been whacked by a heck and tabbed over in to my game and all confused. <laughs> Skies are dab. Hey, Carlos just popped in to say AP spawn to choo. Might be in the interest of anyone who's watching your stream. The imps despawn in about 15 minutes. There you go, everyone. To chew is where you get your I don't know where my pet is stuck behind a rock. Come on. All right, there we go. Ten minutes. Ten minutes to despawn. Thing, and I will kill the Sonfoss myself. That's the quickest way to get to Chichu now. It's still jumping off somewhere in Job and you land more or less in the middle there. So there you go, the has warps. Keep your eyes open if you want to get there. Really? Host land. So the time to die. See you. Come to me, mob. <laughs> I hate that host lands are still aggro at this level. Be great trash. killing these stupid things to get that dojo I don't know So 
You get to die. Hey. Anyone that needs to chew, just go LFT to chew. So shift F, set this to to chew and that you'll get grabbed and teleported there. Yay, Doja! All right, it's beacon and hand it in and then hand in the freelancers. Right, shall we? Right, and that should allow us to hand in the freelancers' ink. See what we get from there. Oh, did I not click the dojo? I don't think I did. That'll be why. All right, now I can click your head. And hand in. There we go. Freelancers Inc. complete. Right, let's go, let's go hand this in. Ralph. Yay, 44 thingies. Did we get a thing? Nope, but not to worry. We got some good XP there. Gonna we'll play every day this week now. Otherwise, I miss out on the freelancers buff and whatnot. I think we'll log this guy for now log this guy for now and then we're gonna fire up 2019 and see if we can get ourselves kicked out of the subway just for the lols i just want to see it happen for science yes i do if we're still in there if it hasn't sort of kicked us out in between Oh no, we're still in the subway, so yeah, okay. So I'm gonna log this tune off. If I can find the exit button, there we are. And grab myself another beer.
Right, I was back. Oh, I'm being um, mullered by something. Uh, we go to Hive. Oh, I can't get up. Ah, now I can. No, nope, not close enough. Right, we need. Ah, green. There you go. So we're level 33. We want to see what level we we need to be to get kicked out. Science says it's 35. But we're not sure. So we're looking for greens and yellows, but there's not many of them. Point. Well, I mean, yes, you technically can level on greys, but... Greys have a chance of respawning. Yeah, they could, they should, be, they can, yeah. Achilles adds, do they count? Because they respawn, don't they? Or do they? Maybe that's the way to do it. I think it maybe is. Do they give XP? I'm not sure. No, they don't. Right, okay. Never mind. Yeah, I was there going, yeah, we've cracked the code. No, you haven't. You can't stand there indefinitely killing the ads. They don't give XP, right. So what's this about a levelling boss? Just an NT that invite... No. No, it is not. Uh, bear with and I will find it for you. Yeah, that would be my channel. Yeah, so... Uh, how long ago was it? Yep, yeah, there you go. You can watch the whole stream and tell you exactly what it is and why it is and everything else. You got another ring, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, you can scan through, but you'll get the general idea. You get teleported to various areas. There's a fruit variant and a paid variant. 
So we sort of did the, the paid one. Should we get the living cyber armor? Yeah, because I haven't got any headgear because I didn't get the bloody mission, did I? Like a noob. Got to pick up the mission. See if he respawns. window helmet visible no we got fabulous hair <laughs> i'm not killing slum runners i don't think they respawn any higher level than they are there's a couple of blood there's a blood creeper up here that might still be green he is okay humanities no great Okay. You could you could come back as a green. That's the only thing at a certain point there's nothing left to kill for xp oh, even though technically you do get one xp per kill on greys that's not the way we want to get there not when you need x thousand xp you don't None of the shadows are going to respawn high enough. I failed the jump. No! <clears throat> the other interesting thing we could do is on my 220 MP, we could breed change them. I'm quite tempted to because I've never been happy with Nanomage. Even though technically Nano Mage can cast a higher pet more easily and blah 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 blah. I don't like Nano Mage, alright? <laughs> don't at me. I don't. Some people do. Rob loves Nano Mage. He can build amazing characters with Nano Mage. I just never can. I'm not sure what it is. <clears throat> I think it's a me problem. I don't think it's a game problem. And I don't think it's a breed problem. I think it's definitely a me problem. But yeah, I just don't get on with nano mage another green now filth fleas are staying gray so they're no good It was quite good when the shadows were still green. We, we got plenty of levels with them. Are there any other things further up that maybe spawn a bit higher level? We should investigate. Yeah, made it that time. You know, down when you go down the other end of the subway and that kind of thing, where people don't normally go. Go and check it out. Can we get up here? Nope. Uh, nothing on there. Grey, 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 grey. All grey.
Yeah, these are all level 20. Probably not gonna get what we're looking for. Really? Yeah, I think it's all going to be in the main room at the, or the final room, I guess. I'm going to have a look down the far end just in case, but... <clears throat> Once we get three bags, so we're covered three weeks. Yeah, I was giving away the other bags of win like every stream. And then did like four streams in a week. <laughs> well, I did over Christmas and that, yeah. I mean, I grow. Really? Still in aggro? Still in aggro, okay. guy up there what color is these workers and whatnot these are all going to be much lower level i was thinking about down here in places like that you know No mobs down here? I always thought there were. Apparently there are no mobs down here. Okay, we'll try over the bridge. And if not, then we go back and kill Abmouth a few more times. <laughs> about 20 to 30 billion a bag well that's a bag worth getting yes it is i think it's only going to be the mobs at the bottom of the dungeon you know i thought i'd come up and have a look Never know. Yeah, they're all quite low level, aren't they? Right, Foreman. Yep. 
We'll steal your boots. And a mongoose. Can we jump out? No. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be the bottom of the dungeon, isn't it? All right, where the hell are we? Time to move on, I feel. Need to find the platform again. Gray, 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 lots of gray. Anything green shows up and that's it. It's getting killed. But I doubt it until we get down to the bottom again. Still got like an, a level and a quarter to go. I feel like pulling teeth in it. <laughs> Not getting the no aggro item from ICC. Don't even know what it is. I I forgot to pick up the quest for the uh, boot, uh, the uh, helmet. Uh, green. Green. There was another one, there was a molested molecules somewhere. I definitely tabbed it. Oh, neural burnout, there you go. Yeah, from the arbiters, one point, yeah. Well, we hit to 26 in here by accident. And realised, oh no, I never got the quest item in here. God damn it. No aggro in Temple of the Three Winds, is there? I never, I've never really bothered with them much, you know. Let's check out Virgil. Cyber living, yeah, they're crap. I picked up the helmet because I didn't have a helmet. Right, there's 
boss respawned. level on this guy. Yep. <laughs> we are just goofing off here, you know, you do know this. Hopefully. As soon as reflect and everything else wears off. God mode is over. Oh, it's going to be painful doing this. Let's go and check out the spider guy. That might still be green. We don't know. Let's go and have a look. Hey, green. Can't figure out where to find. Oh, you can find me. You can find me. Okay. You can die. Uh, it'd be cool if they stayed green till one three four until level thirty five. It'd be better. I'll be back in fifteen minutes. Have to go to a midnight emergency grocery. Okay. Not even sure what that might be. Emergency groceries? Is that a thing? I didn't know that was a thing. We forgot to loot the boss. Okay, we get another one of them. Add V pistol. No, nothing on there we want. Okay. I don't know, guys. It's hanging around in here until we hit 35. <laughs> really worthwhile. Proves it's not easy, though, doesn't it? <clears throat> or it's not as straightforward as you might think. You just run out of things to kill. I think we've got any arbiter points on here. No, none. Should we or should we sack it off or are we gonna continue on until we actually get kicked out? What are we gonna do? I'm not I'm not really planning on keeping this character, so <laughs> they were only kind of like a bit of fun one night. He said uh, you know, because at no time ever have I made let's just make a character for a bit of fun. And then, you know, like two months later it's a fully fledged 220 with all the toys or anything you know i'm just saying
Oh no! Everything's attacking. Oh dear! But it's—is it green? It is green. It was dying on my reflect. Scan your grey. No green. So I want to leave to level to come back to get thrown out, which is silly. doing all the way down here someone else run in or something or someone run down for a kill oh I think they did One, two. Oh no, there's still only two of them. I don't know how long the remains are on these. 20 minutes. Four minutes. Oh, he hasn't spawned yet then. There he is. That scored is silly. <laughs> it is if you're on 2019 and you would like a sword like this just let me know oh I'm only picking up plus sevens now you'll see Yeah, it's only these that are green anymore. Nothing else can give XP. Yeah, it's a paid... Yeah, 2019 is paid only, unfortunately. Chad is steel. What level are you kicked out? Your patience is remarkable. 35, and we're almost there. Almost there. Porkins, pull up. Um, yeah... So we're nearly there anyway. Um, yeah. So it should be quite interesting. I just want to see what it's like when we get kicked out. Sylvia Russell, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. How the devil are you? It's a ridiculously overpowered weapon for a bit. Not indefinitely. About 150-ish. Yeah, you, you're looking for something else. And the, the, the main reason is, is the minimum damage is, is quite weak. Uh, the crit is quite weak, so 
show you quickly. Yeah, there it is. Green sword, so 225 to 750. Nuts damage, but only a 33 crit. And then an MBS of 800. So by 150, there are better options. It's just a... Um, easy you know make life a bit easier weapon but it's only available on the 2019 server <laughs> excuse me doing good been enjoying some nvidia yeah they're on planet nvidia now aren't they <laughs> they're worth so much money in market share it's unbelievable I watched, um, what was it? Um, YouTube, no, 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 not shorts. Why did you move shorts? Scrum is then? awful. I hate Scrum. And I think the main no, reason I, don't I hate Scrum is the they amount of meetings involved. vertical video. Fuck that noise. Stop trying to make me watch it. It's shit. Um, anyway, yeah, this one uh, by Gamers Nexus was, uh, was really funny about their presentation or whatnot should watch it. It is really good. Oh, lots of things. Overclocking is now useless. I don't even bother, you know. On on this system, I, I nothing is overclocked. Everything's running stock because it can already run everything at you know, hundreds of FPS silently. Why would I overclock? I don't care. It does everything I need at stock. Maybe overclocking isn't a thing anymore, you know? It auto overclock. Yeah, it kind of does. It's like, um, uh, what can I bring up? Uh, uh, uh. Like everything is already like I just look at voltages and try and keep them in under manufacturer's spec these days. That's all I look at. So I'm looking at it now, and I'm like, you know, on on V core, yeah, under one point three volts. Let's let's keep it there. It still runs at five point whatever gigahertz, and like the GPU is it's a forty AZ. It doesn't give a shit. It just plays everything. It, so I've got 5.3 on most cores, 5.4 on a couple of others, and that's with the restrictions on it. 4.2 on the um, E cores. And everything goes like stink. Everything runs incredibly quickly. It, it just You just don't feel the need to do any overclocking because everything is already running so quickly. <laughs> Yeah, it's got um, auto, you know, like you can you can set the BIOS to let BIOS optimize, and all it does is just pump voltage and up the core, up the um, frequencies, and I'm like, well, I don't need it to. Yeah, you, you're going to pump like another, you know, 20, 40, 60, 70, 100 more watts into the core, degrading it um, for the sake of 100 megahertz, which I don't need. You know, so I just don't bother. Yeah, th well, this is a K skew, so it automatically, under factory settings, with you know all, all, um, what do they call it? Enforce all limits. I just set it to that and left it. There's just no need. And it's the same with the uh, GPU. It's a forty eighty. It just runs everything without any issues whatsoever it's just fine there you go there's 100 plus fps it doesn't care it just does it yeah you you can limit the the power to 75 percent and still get 95 percent. yeah there's just like no reason to overclock anymore i mean what you it used to be with smaller call counts was you would get the lower skew and overclock that to the highest skew uh, so you'd go from 
a four core eight thread that runs at 2.1 and overclock it to 2.6 which was the next one up which was a four core one um but you'd just be pumping voltage in you know You can't really overclock the 40 series. I mean, you can. And all you do is just move all the sliders as far as they'll go. And they're limited by the by the BIOS and, and other stuff. Um, because it's, it's wattage limited. And it makes so little difference. It's not worth it. You just leave it on stock and go. I mean, you may gain one, you know, one to five FPS more, but if you're already at 150 odd FPS, do you care? You kind of don't. You, you know, it, it sounds crazy, but you just kind of don't. It's so counterintuitive to previous generations of hardware. It really is. You, you, you're kind of like, there's no point doing any form of. Um, tweaking or whatever just leave everything factory it's fine it does everything you could possibly want i have i have no games including cyberpunk maxed out um it's fine it's still like the lowest fps i get in that game now is like 90 and that's as settings as high as they will go i mean it's buttery smooth looks eye-wateringly pretty um and job done you know you just no longer care there's just no need this looks like another Ab mouth. I don't think this is one of the ones we did. Oh, maybe it is. Yeah, that's a six. Oh, it was. Okay. One more ab mouth. Come on. Let's hit 35 and get thrown out. Dragon's Dogma 2. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, there's always going to be poorly optimized games, no matter what. Um, but I'm not really likely to ever want to play Dragon's Dogma 2. I'm not. I'm not sure what game that is. I tend to like first person or like third person, like this type games top-down asymmetric or whatever it's called I, I i don't like those games dragon's dogma 2 yeah yeah the, i don't want amd because i want reliability and they're not reliable enough you know, your PC's been running great for the last three days. You got 20 minutes before the stream, and you got to go through memory training eight times before your system boots. No thanks. It's like Jay's two cents had the 4950 or whatever he had um, in his own personal build. And there's a guy who can have whatever he wants in a build. Um, and switch to Intel because he just got fed up of of it failing to boot and have to memory train and he was swapping out motherboards he was swapping out RAM and in the end went you know what <laughs> for, for the extra two or three percent you might gain in in, in FPS I'll, I'll just go for Intel because it boots every time you know and that that was the the decision maker for me was i need to know that i can switch my pc on 10 minutes before a stream and just go i don't want to be fucking around you know i just want it to work 
and do the job. And it does. It does both things. It does the job and it does it very, very well. And AMD are like five years behind NVIDIA in, in their GPU technology, so there's just no point going with that. Okay, is it a cat eating something? Wee, 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 wee. I don't know. It's got a cute sound. It has sound. Okay. Ah. Yes, cute sound. Yeah, it was uh, Jay's two cents. If I can find them. Uh, yeah, this guy. He's been. He's he's one of the guys who's been there a while. There you go. Why I switched back to Intel. There you go. And he, he he sort of like demonstrates the pro the issues he was having, and you're like, yeah, no, I, I don't want to have to deal with that bullshit, you know. Not a cat. Okay. Do I need sound? <laughs> been eating the nest quick oh my god bless his heart he, he doesn't try to educate himself well i don't know he was an it professional for what 15 years before he started youtube And game, if you want, like, truthful, in-depth, verifiable, repeatable um, research, then, yeah, Gamers Nexus. Jace, who sense, is more of an, you know, an infotainer. But he's not wrong that it's a pain in the arse dealing with, oh, my God, I've got to go through 15 reboots trying to get the system to actually post. That's not that's not an exaggeration. That's not misinformation. That's his experience, and he's not wrong with that. And he's certainly not the only person. And that's why I didn't go for AMD this time around. I got no dog in the race. You know what I mean? They're both greedy corporations. They're no different in that respect. It's all about the you know shareholder bottom line. That's what they're about. That's why they exist. There's no fanboyism with me. I just want something that I switch on and it just works. And and that's what you get with an Intel system. You switch it on, it posts, and you go. That's it. Well, if he keeps doing that, Gamers Nexus are going to call him out, mate, because that's what they did with Linus uh, Tech Tips, didn't they? Lin Linus was providing uh, what you're accusing Jay's two cents of. And... Gamers Nexus ripped them to pieces for it, to the point where they had a complete corporate restructure and remodel. Right, we're level 35. Are we going to get thrown out? We're still here. Moment of truth. I know. I know. We're 35. If we log off, we'll probably get kicked out. But I want to see it do it. Kick me out, bitch. I can't help it. I just really want to see. <laughs> I just 
just want to see the game do it. Still time till the server sees you at three. Oh, that's true. That's very true. cats are like that where you're like really <laughs> you're people now you're talking to me have you not seen the um gamers nexus takedown of uh, linus oh my god hang on uh, if, if i want some uh, you know real um empirical repeatable provable information these are the guys on youtube that i look at um the problem there you go uh so he does the first one and then a response to their initial response which was really bad you know because they tried to do the whole no 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 it's this it's that it's the other um and then they responded to that with you've learned nothing um and then linus went off went offline for like um god i don't know it, it, like a two weeks which is a long time for a channel like that Yeah, Digital Foundry do some of the best um, in-game analysis of games of any any company. In fact, I think some of their hardware reviews as well are, you know, really incredible. They're, they're very, very um, in-depth, and they never forget the, you know, the asking price of anything, no matter how good it is. They don't forget the fact that it costs X, Y, Z, you know? I like Ga I like Nexus for the fact that they'll they'll rip anyone to pieces that sponsor or not. <laughs> you know they're quite fearless in in their journalism. Uh, someone did a meme, didn't they? Um, it's probably searchable. It, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Linus Tech Nips, Gamers Nexus. As fun as this looks, that's the girl I like. Sorry, but it is. You know? That's absolutely it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't see the point of of the water cooling anymore. Um which is why I have no water cooling in my system. If I if there was a profound benefit, I would consider it. I would consider the, all the extra points of failure. I would consider the added risks. But over how good air coolers are now, the I <laughs> you know, with uh, virtually no points of failure i mean the only thing that can fail on a, an air cooler is the fans and it doesn't stop cooling even if the fans fail so my whole system is just yeah just regular i've got i mean okay it, it's like a massive 
air cooler. It's a knock to a, a Chromax D15 or whatever, but yeah, it's more than happy doing its job. And if the fan goes, you just get another fan. It's a fucking fan. So what? You know, you, you get a leak in a water system. You you could have catastrophic failure. You could have uh, the pump going. In which case, you, your system's down until such time you replace the entire thing with an all-in-one, or the pump, and a refill, and everything else. Plus, you know, the added risks of... Re it's just... The, the logic just isn't there. It's just not. You know, to my own mind, it's like... The, the system I've got now, the worst thing that could happen is... Um, a fan fails. Let's just stick another fan in until I get the proper fan. It's still going to work, you know? Do they use water cooling in data centres? Uh, forgetting the fact of how loud data centres are. Air coolers have... No, 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 All the no. That's a very poor example due to... The EVGA problem was pad thickness, not air cooler as an issue. That was the problem. The pad thickness was, was wrong. It, the machining design was wrong. That was the issue. It was pads. Pads were wrong. A CPU cooler doesn't use pads. Paste, cooler, assembly system. It either works or it don't. There's nothing else to it. Um, the, 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 there's more problems with the latching mechanism on... Um, who, oh, there's someone above me. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So some highly expensive bespoke stuff. Yeah, so it it's feasible that it can be better. It doesn't get hot anyway on an air cooler, and I've got zero points of failure. I mean, yes, the um, the condenser pipes could fail, but the chances of that versus a pump or leak from a water system or the short term life of um the heat dissipation pads and the build up of crap in the the fins and all the other it, it, there's so many added points of failure that i just yeah i just don't bother i don't think 35 is the kick out anymore <laughs> cuz we've been 35 for a while now I think long enough for the server to figure it out. Yeah, the only way I do thermal pads is in five repetitions of testing with a roller system. So I could roll them to the correct thickness um, until they fit correctly. And I've got where you are using normal paste and a heat block. I know that the the contact pressure is good on that your your pads are wrong um there's a guy called northwest repair okay and that guy is working at a way way high, higher level of board level repair electronics than and anyone else on youtube he he can fix cracks by cutting through you know the several layers of um uh, copper contacts and stuff and build back up repairing them you know he'll go to extraordinary lengths to rescue something he'll replace the cpu he'll replace the memory he'll re replace any of the smds <laughs> he'll repair the damage done when they pop and the three things he says that people get wrong are thermal pad uh size um copper mods 
And the worst culprit for killing things are shunt mods. So we can repair what the damage the shunt mod has caused, but then removes the shunt mod and says, please don't ever put one of them on this again. You know, so... And I started off in TV repair, so I, I know the, the where he's coming from with it. I really do. And he's he he works with a microscope because you you literally have to. You know, that's the scale we're at now. He's doing at this level the work I used to do at this level. So I know exactly what he's doing. Yeah, we, we read on other things you got kicked out at 35, but I think we've proven you do not get kicked out at 35. The old, um, like, Areet, there's a certain level it will kick you out, and the same with Noob Island, it will kick you out. <coughs> yeah, Northwest Repair. He's, he's like the best repair guy I've ever seen when it comes to that sort of stuff. Hang on. Um... I know I'm subscribed to him. Yeah, that's the guy. He makes quite entertaining videos as well. You can see everything he says about people fitting the wrong pads. Um, <clears throat> and the differences between lead content solder and non-lead and low lead. Solder still has lead in it. Lead-free solder still has lead in it. It just has a lot less lead in it. But the problem with that is that solder is far more brittle. And the problem with it being brittle is if it gets a knock, a drop, or a bang, it's going to break pads or it's going to break the contact. That's what's going to happen. Uh, it's just the physics, you know? And he'll go in and he'll rip it all up and he'll, he'll replace the old solder with older solder which still has lead in it and uh, lo and behold it's all working again you know because he's he knows exactly what he's doing and he's got the, the circuit diagram he knows where the traces go to he knows what the resistances should be the guy knows exactly what he's doing and what's really funny is he takes the piss out of the other youtube repair channels and apes them you know like there's a guy that that has like a beard or whatever and there's a german guy that debauer uses but the debauer the one that debauer uses in germany his business model is if we can't fix it for x profit we don't fix it at all i've just trained someone so <laughs> We don't get paid. Yeah, yeah. Uh, watch some of his videos and how he operates his business. He's a great guy.
Yeah, we, we never got paid that kind of money fixing TVs back in the old CRT days, which is when I used to work on them in the 80s, early 90s, or whatever. Yeah, you, you want to watch this, the, the level of work you can do. And because the company I worked for, 90% of their business was rental. So people rented their TVs. We had to repair their, we had to keep their TVs going no matter what, because they were paying for them every, every month or whatever. So yeah, it, th that business model was, um, Like we'd we'd go into a holiday camp and every little chalet in the holiday camp, it's kind of like a trailer park, but it's seasonal. Um, and we'd we'd be coming out with a truck with fifteen TVs on it, and we'd load that in a van, and we'd load another fifteen off another one, and until we filled the van, we would take them back, and we'd we'd go through each one and repair each one. Um, so we take the back off and go, oh, well, there's four condoms and three copper coins have been dropped in the back of this one. We take all those out, run over everything with a meter. Yeah, I think it's safe to switch on. Yeah, it's blown that. Okay, we'll fix that bit. Okay, it's working again. Back on the trolley, back in the van, back to the chalets, you know. So we did a lot of work like that, or we'd literally do the repair in the house, you know. Um, but we were a TV firm, so when we ordered part, I mean, we had a, um, several stores of parts, so most of the onboard components were pretty much off the shelf components. So it was pretty easy to do, but as things became um, more and more shrink down and, and, and ICs took over more and more of what the circuit was doing, so instead of, you know, a square, like six by eight, a patch of uh, circuit board and, and, and components was struck down to one IC. That's when um, things became more and more difficult to order for. Before that, that same circuit, you know, instead of being this big, was like 20 different components in the circuit this big and you could fix it, you know. Right, I'm going to run away from this person. They seem nice. We're going to run out of the dungeon. I'm bursting for a pee now. Yeah, so... Um, I used to overclock my old system because it was old. <laughs> so, to get it to perform in any kind of fashion, I had to. Uh, to, you know, just to keep up. I had a four core, eight thread processor from 2012 up until Christmas, I think, last year. And then got a brand new Intel 
motherboard and RAM because I wanted the stability and flexibility that it offers. And my God, does it run well. It, it, it's fit and forget. It really is a fit and forget. And I, you know, people all oh, building PCs is difficult. To me, it's an utter, utter piece of piss. I mean, it's Lego. It's so easy. It's comical. Um, I built it while I was on at work. I, I had my work computer and everything else there. I had calls coming in. I was talking to people and I assembled the whole thing on the desk over there while I was in work. That's how easy it was. Um, had it plugged into a spare monitor with a, a, a generic heatsink on it while I set the BIOS and up and everything else. And then when I finished work, I finished putting it into the case and assembling it. And it was job done. Like, in minutes. It was so simple. Can you log a tune in RK5 to pass bags? I can. Let me get out of here and go for a wee. Because I really need to make water. I'm, like, jiggling my legs in the air as I'm running out. I'm not even joking. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to stop there. That's safe enough. Right, I'll be back in a minute. That's better. He will not reach the bathroom. I did. Um, yeah, you're supposed to get, like, you've got to pee every five minutes or something at my age, but somehow I've dodged it, so. Here we go, we're leaving the subway. Right, okay, so Vulpu wants me to log in a tune on RK5, so we're going to do that. That ain't it. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> we should have casted snare on him as you go to the bathroom. But I still have made it. As soon as you stand up, all the pressure's off your bladder, isn't it? So. How many slots do I need? And get rid of that, that's temporary. It is okay, that three, okay, I've got three slots. And now I've got 
these but oh look at these frube bags of win thank you very much volpu these will be given away it's got freedom arms we've got extreme low light targeting scopes we have dragon claw gloves we have sealed love sombrero uh, we've got rings of endurance we've got vtes we've got living dragon flesh body armor we've got imbued globe of um clarity uh we've got 2000 tokens we've got the 160 spirit infused yuttos that just need complete don't have any other requirement we've got some dockaholic rings quality 300 which need intelligence from 151 but no other requirement and uh, heavy note and tank nice what have you given me three bags of the same three bags of the same i think that is awesome there you go figure out if someone if 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 one anyone wants crypt of home weapon they can trade any of those crypt of home weapon of choice there you go so we'll give them the option if they win thank you very big volpu that was extremely kind of you a lovely gift for the community right well, let's um we'll carry on with this character just for the lols let's pick up some dailies so we'll do one of those bags on sunday night uh tomorrow we're going to be doing a grace giveaway so there's that all right let's get some missions just requires time to gather them together you got really good bags my friend really good bags and i know there's there's a thing with pcs that the pc itself looks really cool and i get it I totally get it mine lives under a desk in an enclosure that means no sound is getting out and has front to back ventilation that's it uh it does nothing else and i never ever see it i reach under i press the button or i shut it down that's it that's all i ever do uh so to me none of the aesthetic of the build itself actually matters because i never see it uh, maybe that's um people go no you're wrong and that's okay you know if you're you want the engine block to look good i'm a kind of like the bonnet never lifts kind of guy but i get it but i never see it so i don't care about it you know it's one of them right what have we got we've got salvage mission okay so yeah i do have a kind of certain use case for my gear and it a lot of it stems from audio so i don't want the noise of a computer being recorded by my microphone so the whole setup was designed around that and that hasn't changed since 2015 so like nine years it's been that way like i've got rgb out the yin yang on that motherboard <laughs> it's switched off i'll never use it i don't care um mrs Kalos 2 has got rgb fans which she quite enjoys playing with i just never touch them I've got an old Corsair 4000 case uh, from 2012. And as long as everything fits in it, I don't care. And I've taken um, an angle grinder to it before now. Simply because, yeah, I don't care what it looks like. I care about how it works. 
and that's it there's there's no nothing beyond that for me does does is it quiet and does air flow through it well enough that's it that's all i care about with it and th that will never change because of my use case my use case is my own it's under the desk on a raised platform with a completely flat bottom so it's not sucking in the dust out of a carpet um because dust is dust and all the rest of it um it's got several layers of acoustic treatment over the top of it and that's it as long as air goes front to back and it makes no sound it's doing what i want it to do and that's kind of the end all be all really I had a liquid cooler in 2012, one of the early uh, all-in-ones, and um, an old Cooler Master Hyper 212 was better at cooling than that was, and it was orders of magnitude quieter. So I switched to it, and I never looked back. So, yeah, my use case is fairly unique, perhaps, but... You know, you go with what you want it. You know, you, you go with what works for you, don't you? I mean, end of the day. So my system would absolutely not suit everyone and I wouldn't try and convince anyone that my system is correct. I would just say it's correct for what I want. I want something that makes as little noise as possible um, but ther thermodynamically does the job and it does. And therefore I'm happy with it. That's it. That's all there is to it. Beyond that, I don't care. You know, I really don't. I've seen some incredibly cool looking systems people have built and thought, wow, yeah, I'd really love that, but there's no way I'd actually live with it, you know. All right, there's the doohickey. See what happens if we... If we can hit a level, leave and get another level, then pick it up, then all good. Ow. Right, I think we've cleared the, the mission space. I don't think there's any other mobs left inside, so we'll head out, let it respawn, kill them all again till we fill the green bar of win, and see where we land. Someone needed a babysitter, okay. Oh, I've seen this. Yeah, it was on Twitch. Uh, Twitch, Twitter. Thank you. Thank you, were you? I pay my love for your gebrung. Hmm? I pay my love for your gebrung. Oscar! Hello, Oscar, man! <laughs> Just watch the baby while I... Mum gets some alone time. 
Oh, that's awesome. I'm gonna exit and then re enter. Just fill that green bar. Get a different map usually for find item, but. Okay, there's the item. Would be quick and easy, and at higher uh, AI levels, I would grab it immediately and leave. But it's still worth killing the mobs at lower AI levels. So I will. If I can't level beyond that green bar then we pick up the item and we leave and wait until it clears because we've hit a high enough level and then hand it in Slap you senseless. There we go. Oh no, we can carry on. <coughs> <coughs> So we can get at least one more level, I'm not sure how many more, but... Uh, mutate, what's that? Special taunt, direct damage, okay. I think we're going to go with more two-hand edge. Yes, we are. Okay. Not sure how many alien levels we can get now, but we're going to get them. For a proficient use of whatever. Doing these at lower levels, there's, there's so much scope for levelling. There's the item, but... I don't think there's any more mobs, just more... red stuff. Bernie, Bernie, death, death. So we could leave, re enter again, get a respawn. And still be good to go. I don't know. I, it sounds like it.
the same with the um, cocoon mission. You can go in and you can kill nine cocoon aliens and do nine cocoons and keep re-entering and get a respawn until you cap, then finish the mission and wait to hand it in for the next cap. And that kind of works for the first ten levels or so, and then less and less as you go on and by the time you're like AI 20 killing mob killing alien mobs is hardly worth the effort burning flames Can you actually kill a burning flame? You are unable to attack the target. No, you cannot. Shame. Because they're very high level. My screen is saying that's full of burning flames on the minimap, but I can't see them. I ain't running down there. <laughs> Carry on for a little longer. I can see the item. time people why don't you farm your first alien levels in a reap because there's better ways of doing it is why what better way this way <laughs> pretty simple Sneak past those. Oh, a burning flame. We ran right into it. That'll never do. Right, okay. So, let's figure our way out. Enter one more time, because I'm sure you're sick and tired of green corridors at this point. And I don't blame you. Excuse me. Right, okay, last time now. Uh, 
any ongoing AI world mobs like in Ari? Ari has a world mob? I'm not sure it does. Only way to get AXP mission is org or raids. Org raids, um, sector seven, and then the other sectors. Yeah. Once you can get into a re, it's a little easier, but not massively so. But the the cur the the biggest problem with alien XP is the ability to to earn it. They could easily fix it, however. And I've said this before, you know, the, um, the missions, the LE missions for alien XP, all they need to do is add a regular alien dailies worth of XP to the reward. And people would do them all the time, the same way they do Inferno missions, and it would fix the problem. That's all they need to do is add alien dailies worth of xp alien xp to completing one of the ofab missions people will be camping that site 24 7 to get them done you know the ones i mean and if you don't, then that's where you for farm bio uh, types from the bosses in there. But if you if you made those particular missions give you alien XP daily reward um, XP, um, that would fix the problem because people would just do those missions. And they would do them in the same way they do the Inferno missions to level and to do research. After 201. Yeah, because you get an SK as well. Yeah, absolutely. It has picked up the item, so I cannot re-enter unless I delete it, I think. I'm not convinced on that. But you see way too many players um, AFK in uh, um, Arid Rift with their pets on guard. And as soon as you're seeing that, you know you've got a problem with how players are gaining alien XP and it's just never been addressed. It's never been fixed. That's all you need to do to fix it is turn the OFAB missions, just add an alien daily's worth of reward to the completion. Do that and you've fixed the problem. Simple as that. That's all, all Funcom need to do. And if I was running the game, sir, <laughs> turning into Mark Twain, you know, you come over and you talk to uh, this guy or whoever it is over here and you pick up a mission to go to that ship. Yeah, all you do is add alien daily XP, alien XP reward to those missions and you fix the problem. Because then people would go, well, let's team up and do these missions in exactly the same way people do inferno missions it would just be yeah let's do a few of those and that would just fix the problem that would fix the problem and the problem is the lack of avenues for alien xp 
that's the biggest problem with alien xp is the lack of places to get it effectively you put one in the game and people will use it that that sudden suddenly that little corner of the world would become busy you know it just would need to go to the holodeck and pick up the freelancers before we do anything else Yeah, if I ran the game, there's a lot of things I would change that are very, very simple that would fix a lot of the game's basic issues. Subscription would be £5 a month or less for buying a whole month. <coughs> that would see a greater population percentage of paid subscribers because the game is cheap make it a third of what ne Netflix costs and people will go like yeah but it's five bucks a month overhaul the engine correct properly give it a true port with improved textures that's a massive undertaking I know but do that alien xp you fix with what i've already said which is outside of dailies you give the ofab missions a reason to do them other than loot remove all the um can't be used in shadowlands restrictions on nanos except flight because i'm a bastard um it would be yeah it would be expensive to do it and the textures you're dealing with in AO are the biggest drawback to updating the engine because they they really really um have that's that's the biggest drawback this in UE5 would look like a UE4 port in the same way the the i guess what was the game they did was it system shock or something like that from the 90s they redid that yeah i've got to be 46 or what i've got to be 45 to obtain the next alien level but okay um <clears throat> There's so many easy, simple, and effective. Yeah, it's the, the, the before you port it to another um, engine, you need to improve the textures, like by quite a large margin. Grid runner, the grid. Right, okay. Right, click from inventory because we're in the grid. Yeah, I think the Dune game will be interesting, but it's a survival game, so I don't know quite how it's going to go. Alright, West Staffing. I do want to play it. I've applied for the beta. Um, have not been invited. But then again, it asked, how many survival games do you regularly play? And I was like, well, none. I don't really like survival games. <laughs> so maybe I'll end up hating it. I don't know, but it does look very pretty. The Grid. Okay. 
clicky again. ICC. Survival MMO, yeah. It, it, it's going to be a lot of things before it's something I like. Um, it might be really good. I don't know. My system is ready to go. I've tried the Unreal demos of every... Unreal 5 demos of every kind, and they all look amazing. They run well. Not inviting contact. Yeah, they did ask if that was a factor, and I said yes, and here's the channel. But to them, a content creator is someone with 500,000 subs, um, releasing, you know, videos on on a schedule and, and whatnot. You know, they're, they're, they're running a business, and I'm not. I'm a hobbyist um, who is perhaps more truthful about what they do than most content creators are. Did that affect freelancers? It did. Oh my god. Right, okay, so there's one daily done. Right, Temple of the Three Winds. Which will not uh, affect that. Okay, where we at? We're, uh, I think we need a rebuff, so I'm going to just rebuff, please, when I get out the grid. Okay. They made folk sign NDA so content creators can be bad to right now. I'm not sure what that means. All right, we go rebuff. Okay, they're going to redo all the buffs. Nice. And then do I have the space for grid space? I don't think I do, but I'm going to ask for it. Hell it is. Grid space freedom. Not an offense to you. Never mind. We tried. Rather have the other buffs. We've got cultist culling and the usual. Right, let's go. See how we do. Content creator can't talk about what they've done in June right now. Well, no, they can't. <laughs> this sword is nuts. Right, okay. Light. Okay, available settings for light. Let's go for Rubicar light so we can see what the hell we're doing. So we've got to kill X number of cultists as well as the regular daily. Cheering because it made me laugh. Okay. My three-month-old son is now twice as big as he was when he was born. He's on track to weigh 7.5 trillion pounds by age 10. Y yeah, okay. That's not how it works, but okay. Yes, the first few months are important. Uh, 
Hello, Mr. Nuke Through Walls. I know they don't actually nuke through walls. I do know that. It's the delay between the cast time and everything else. I do know that. But it does feel like that's what they're doing. So, therefore, I hate them. <laughs> right, we don't get a, a, a mission reward or whatever for, for this. Oh god, Grey's already uh, we spent too long in the subway. Grey, 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 grey. I want XP. Grey. Grey. Oh, green. Draden with an ahoy! Welcome to the stream. Right, let's get another acolyte. Hello, Helist. Goodbye. This guy. Can we take him? Let's see. Here, pressure, Peter. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Uh, I think we can take him. I think we're, the, the sword is so OP, we're, we're fine. Uh, no more slice. Taking it just cause. <laughs> Reasons. Uh, but there you go. How are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm not going to be on much longer due to the fact that um, I'm in work very early tomorrow, so I need to get offline and get to bed. But aside from that, I'm pretty good. Right, I need uh, Faithful. There's, a bit, there's one in the middle. He wanders around. We're going to go get him. Hopefully we can catch you later. Well, quite possibly. I usually raid a person if I can. Um, but it all depends. I, I just very quickly cursory glance who is streaming the same game. And then if nobody is, then random person. So, yeah, that, that that's literally how it goes. I mean, it's, there's no mu not much thought beyond that. I'll, I'll be honest. We need some more of these, don't we? Right, okay. Kill you, you're green. And splat. You're dead. Yeah. I think our, our FE and Hack and Quack are slightly overpowered with this sword. <laughs> Reverend. You aren't a fan, avid fan of my channel. I'm not an avid fan of much, really. I'm not going to kill you just because you're looking at me in a funny way. Right, Reverend, I'm going to kill you, and then I'm going to kill the guys that nuke because they annoy me. Right, which means you. Yes, you, you, yes, you, with the silly hair and the fat belly. Yes, you, you're going to die. And your friend over there. I see him. Don't think I don't. I'll just kill all these. Right. Okay. Easy catch your VODs. Yeah, I mean, that, that's why I put the VODs on YouTube, is just give everyone a chance to suffer equally. You know, I mean... I think that's fair. I think we're going to complete the mini 
Um, <laughs> new, uh, what, the little freelancers extra mission for killing off the trash. Right, okay. Oh, God, lordy, lordy, we've got this guy. Right, okay, um, first person. Body pull. There we go, there we go. I know you're red, but I am brave. As long as I can hit them, I'm all right. I mean, that's, that's the big thing. Hit them quickly. Yeah, that's another thing. Okay, let's up some of these. <laughs> Save melee special, yeah. Fast attack, let's make that slightly quicker. Close is it, is it? Was that the only one? There's usually two of those, right? Let's go. Come on, pal. I want a belt. We could get into trouble here. We got no dimash. Oh, with this weapon, but I'll accept it for the sheer damage it has. Mongo. Please, no trains while I'm using Mongo. Because I will die. I think we got him. Come on, down you go. Belt. Inventory full. Oh crap. Right, okay, well, I don't need that anymore. And, but I do want that. Right, okay. Doing good. No, no heavy tank for you. I should have got a taunt device, shouldn't I? Well, okay then. Let's, let's kill the trash. Yeah, I think that was the what's it daily. Freelancers. And we've got a perk. I'm going to put it in bio shielding because. Duh, bio shielding. trash mobs anymore cultist culling yeah i've done it so i've got the xp for that when any other profession dies they understand nothing when enforcer dies they get better okay i i accept your premise okay there's a cat with a what were they called? Crocs? It's got a Crocs on its head and they've reversed the footage. <laughs> so it looks like it put it on its own head, which it didn't. Right, okay. Re read title. Oh, God. Read the title. Today I choose this hat. Well, yes. Um, no, that's what reverse photography will do for you. It's quite easy to spot. Okay, let's do the ads and then see what we get. Okay, the big guy. I think I did a research. I did a research. Okay, another one. There we go. I'm 
you know, I've got bio cocoon. What's bio shield? Well, like a baby version of it. Did get rock crusher gauntlets. Oh god, with the room. Uh e level ten implant, you can go. What's on these anyway? Brawling? Strength? Yeah, okay. Oh your strength and stamina is required to be much higher. You lightweight. You can't have it. Okay. What am I on now? wind callers okay let's try and get to a wind caller without ads nope okay there's one oh god reverend as well oh, you do not sh what <laughs> oh you do not shower it all over well that sounds like fun Because I did have a clear screen now. Okay. The chat is just doing its own thing, and I approve. Chat should do its own thing. Oh, we're getting near 11 o'clock. No, we've gone past 11. I need to go, guys. So we're going to finish this daily. And then we're going to have to call it a night. But I'm... Um, Going to get a cup of tea first. I'm not having another beer. No. I need to wake up tomorrow. Right. Be right back.
Right, okay. So I slightly decided while making a cup of tea that, screw it, one more beer. <sighs> no rest for the wicked. Right, wind caller. <laughs> I know, I'm a bad man. Wind caller's done, and I don't have a puller thing. And I really need one now. It's going to be incredibly difficult without one. Stupidly difficult, even. Might as well aggro because Muriel is there and Muriel always aggroes. Muriel? No one likes you, Muriel. And this guy, Hal in the Faithful, he's always up for some death. Okay, let's try and get this guy. Hi there. Pull you down. No, 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 no. Third step. There you go. So hard to self control with the stream <laughs> in fight. Run 90 minutes past when I said I would last night. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Right, okay. Okay, we got that. Have they got an X heart robe? Nope. The one I'm worried about is the. Ooh. Oh god, inventory. Let's get rid of the quality ten. Let's get that. What ring is it? Oh yeah, these are quite nice. Um oh my god. Time to put things away. Right, okay, so Oh that's yeah, a temporary item, okay. I don't think I've got any rings at the moment, so there's one, and then what's this? No ring of the three Three, no drop unique. You already have. Right, okay, fair enough. Right, I need to get this guy, and the boss is looking at him, which makes it tricky. Can I go from here? Can I? Third step. Like, me and you, let's go. Beginner's luck. Yeah, something like that. It, it It's not... 23 years of experience. <laughs> Ooh, things. Right, okay, we'll have that. We'll have that. Okay, those are the dailies done, but it only completed one uh, freelancer mission. So I'm going to do the run out, and then we're going to find someone to raid. If we can. You know, I mean, maybe, maybe not. I mean, we might run all the way out and decide to just turn back and quickly have another go at Got. Don't know. Do you? Yeah, one more got, and then we're going. Just in case we get the tank armor. You never know. And you. I just don't like you. Yeah, no, I don't. Right, okay. Level is he 67? That's a good level. Can you really say you love your info tune if you don't get them? <laughs> Guardian tank armor? Well, I think you can probably love them without it. Oh, 
bio shielding. How I love you. Come on. Down you go. Come on. Be lucky. Nope. We tried. Bobby Scaramento. Good evening, Carl. Hope it was good in your world. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. I'm making poor decisions late on Friday, knowing I've got to get up at 6 a.m. tomorrow. But there you go. I'll be all right. <clears throat> we had a Chinese takeaway before dinner, so. Or before the stream, rather, so. I'm good. I'm good. Funny thing, all my yeah, all my grid armor fixes got it. Yeah, I know. It is the way. Right, we're running out. We're running out. I'm gonna go back and watch another episode of um, Three Body Problem. It's really good good like modern sci-fi with some painfully accurate observation about the past with some thoughtful and insightful ideas about the possibilities in the future you know like all good science fiction is you get the mine the, the mine. I'm not sure what that is. I don't think I did. But I don't know what it is, so I, I don't know. Right, okay, so we've done the do. And our little enforcer. There is no giveaway this evening. There is one tomorrow. It is a grace giveaway night tomorrow so that leaves very little left to do but park this character and find a victim I mean let's find a channel to raid all right here we go Right, let's have a look then. Anarchy Online, whom is streaming the island? We've got Rubicar, Life Feed, and me. Oh. oh. We got Lost. Let's go raid Lost very quickly. The city is under siege by an army. Yeah, I'm not sure about that movie, but anyway. Raid successfully lost. There you go. Simple. Um, yeah, they're very cool. I like them. Not sure about this trailer, but, you know. Bill Murray's in it. I'll probably watch it because Bill Murray's in it. You know, it's one of those. But yeah, she's very, very cool. And Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, there's a better, 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 better. Yeah, she's very vocal, very chatty, etc. Right, we're going to go. Thank you all. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is Grace Giveaway, etc. So I shall see you all then. Until then, thank you all for the follows. Thank you all for coming along. Thank you for the memes. And I will see you in the next one. Okay, folks. Bye for now.